The Jmail module provides the ability to work with your existing email system to send emails from Jonas. It is generally selected like a printer in the Where Would You Like It Printed window by clicking the Jmail button. Jmail can be used and customized for many different items like member statements, hotel confirmations, POS chits, tea time confirmations, and payroll earning statements. To set up your Gmail, navigate to System Administration, System Setup, and Gmail Parameters. The first company that you want to configure is the 00, 00 default parameters. Depending on the module, Gmail may use settings from the default parameters or from your club. Therefore, it is recommended to duplicate these settings for both companies, meaning the default parameters as well as your company code. Next, we have the form type which specifies what area in Jonas you are setting up Gmail parameters for. The first form type that you want to configure is your 00, 00 company default parameters, which allows you to configure your Gmail settings globally for general email slash reports that do not have a specific form type defined. These global settings can be overridden form by form by selecting the forms you would like to configure. Note that the form type list is a standard list, so not all forms may apply to your club's Jonas system. Next, we'll want to choose our mail client. Your first option is Outlook. You can use this option if you are currently using an existing Outlook program already installed on your computer, and note that Outlook must be open and a user logged in in order to send the email. Note that this option does not work with Outlook 365, which is web-based. Emails will send from whoever is logged into Outlook on the computer you are working from, and if you have multiple email profiles set up, you can choose which email profile to send the email from. So for example, you can choose ProShop at club.com instead of your email address. Your other options are SMTP, which uses an email server which is always running in the background. Therefore, no application needs to be specifically open on the computer. This option can send out emails automatically and is ideal when working with large statement runs, tea time confirmations, and computers where Outlook is not installed. The two options available are SMTP with SSL slash TLS, which is a bit more secure and requires a login, and usually set up by your IT, and SMTP PVX email, where no DLL is required, i.e. there is no file to be registered and you do not have to be the administrator to use this. The remaining settings will be available dependent on the option you choose. At the top, we'll have Profile Name or SMTP Server Name. The profile name will be used for Outlook and is used to indicate which Outlook user, if there are multiple users, to use to log into the Outlook mailbox. This field can be left blank if the user is the only one logging into Outlook in any terminal. If you are using SMTP, you'll want to enter the SMTP server name. This indicates the mail server name or TCP slash IP address. As Jonas does not host any type of email services for our clients, the club must provide their own mail server. Please contact the company hosting the club's email and or your IT representative to obtain this information. Default subject. This is the default subject line that appears in the email message. Leaving this field blank will create a subject line for each email you send based on the type of email slash report being sent. From name and from address. These will only be made available if using an SMTP mail client. The from name will appear in the email message. This field can be an individual's name or a department, and this field helps the user receiving the email to easily identify the sender. The from address will also appear in the email message, but is not necessarily the actual address the email is being sent from. However, it is still useful as a member can send a reply to this address with any questions. The club can also utilize something like no reply at club.com. Some optional fields you do have as well include copy to address, which you can designate email addresses that receive a carbon copy of the email, and similarly with the blind copy. You can also choose to attach files. This allows for the ability to attach up to five files. If you are attaching promotional material for a specific period, don't forget to remove the attachment afterwards. Note that some of these fields will only be available dependent on the specific form type chosen. If you are using SMTP as a mail client, you can also configure the following settings. Pickup directory. Use this field in conjunction with the Save Messages option to specify a location where emails will be stored for pickup by your mail server. 
If you choose Save Messages, emails will accumulate in your Pickup Directory folder. This option can be used if your SMTP servers are located in-house, where you can send emails based on the SMTP server schedule, which you can consult your hardware and network professional about. Otherwise, you can use the Send Messages option. The Send Messages option will send emails immediately, and this option is recommended if your SMTP servers are located remotely. Lastly, for SMTP, we also have authentication. First, you have password authentication required. If applicable, check this field, then enter a login name and password. You'll also want to enter the outgoing mail port. For SMTP PVX, the default is 25, and for SMTP with SSL slash TLS, the defaults are usually 465 and 587. If you are using the SSL slash TLS mail client, you'll also want to select the encryption required. None, SSL to use the secure sockets layer type of encryption, or TLS to use the newer transport layer security method. Click OK to save. Once you have your parameters set up, we do suggest sending a test email to verify if settings are correct. Here you can go ahead and enter an email address to test with, and Jonas will inform you if the test was successful or not. For the Outlook mail client, you should see the email in your sent items folder. For the SMTP mail client, Jonas will prompt you if it was able to communicate with the email server. An error number will be displayed if the email was not able to send. You always want to verify the email was actually delivered. After you've completed your setup, Make sure you go ahead and click OK to save your changes. Now that your JML parameters have been set up, you can send emails. Sending of emails will work differently depending on the mail client being used. So for Outlook, when you are producing reports, instead of clicking Print or View in the Where Would You Like It Printed window, you're going to select the Gmail option. Jonas will generate an email in Outlook with the subject line and the report attached and all you have to do is enter the recipients and click send. For SMTP, it is typically used for confirmations, so as long as the confirmations have been configured for the module, for example date times, an email will automatically be sent or saved depending on the Jmail parameter settings. If you are producing a report, select the same Jmail button in the Where Would You Like It printed window. Jonas will generate a sending email window where the name and email address of the recipient can be added, all the SMTP info will already be filled out. You can also add attachments and enter carbon copies or blind carbon copies as applicable. Once you're ready, go ahead and click the send button to send the email. And if there is an error, you will be notified. Mm -hmm.